Ah, Rarity and Applejack episode. Hey there, Rarity. I wonder what they have in I store for us this time. Earlier. I just can't believe how much time my chores are taking up these days. At least now we'll finally get to spend some quality spa time together. Why does she right? still have the towel on her head? That's it. We're closing up for the day. Oh, shucks, Rarity. I guess I missed the whole day. I sure am sorry. Yeah. Ooh. Horns are not supposed to bend that way. Yeah, uh, sorry about that, folks. The start of this episode is somewhat unicorn nightmare fuel. I get that Rarity was warned that she might be pruny, but that, that's not pruny. That's the equestrian equivalent to the Ark of the Covenant being looked at. Now, as you can tell, we're going to be watching Applejack's Day Off. Everybody's favorite honest mare is going on a trip to the day spa with Rarity. Applejack, however, seems to be having problems finishing her chores. Enter Twilight Sparkle and Spike, looking to try and help with the problem. I know we're not farmers, but I'm sure Spike and I could handle things for a little while. Maybe. Is there one chore we could do? Well, I suppose if you two got started on feeding the pigs, I could maybe leave for an hour? Woo! An hour of spa perfection? I can work with that. Are you sure about that, Rarity? Because your face nearly melted last time. Having been left with one chore, Twilight Sparkle and Spike both assure Applejack and Rarity that they can get the job done. However, Applejack leaves a lengthy list for just one chore to be done. Usually isn't the shoe on the other hoof, Twilight being the one to leave a list that's that long for someone else. And Applejack isn't a unicorn, she has to spend the time writing this with a pencil in her mouth. Moving on, both Rarity and Applejack make their way to the spa. However, arriving at their destination, they find out that the sauna isn't working. And when Rarity suggests doing something else, Applejack puts her hoof down and says that's the one thing that she was looking forward to. Yes, the wait time for the steam room certainly has been getting worse lately, but I'm sure we'd be able to accommodate your usual treatments. Not without my steam. Now, I can understand when something doesn't go your way. Maybe you go to the amusement park and your favorite ride is closed. When that happens, well, the sane person would decide, hey, I'm gonna let the repairmen do what they need to do. You'd move on and then you'd go and find something else fun to do for the rest of your afternoon. Who knows, maybe it would be fixed before the end of your day. But we're not dealing with the sanest of mares. Applejack's stubborn nature gets her to the point where she decides she's going to look into the issue herself and then try to fix the plumbing herself. And to her credit, she does do a good job. Uh, at least from what you can tell. I mean, that pipe looks like it's been more wrapped in tape than repaired. But then again, we were dealing with a sauna full of ponies who were more focused on giving hot towels out than figuring out what the problem was. Though if anybody's at fault, I'd have to point hooves at the management. It's obvious the people that were working there were just doing their jobs. And I feel bad for the towel guy. I mean, I don't know what he does daily at the spa, but obviously he didn't want to do towels. And I only have to be doing wash once a day! What do you think he does in that room? On second thought, I don't want to know. He was way too excited to get in there. Unfortunately, there's no time left for Rarity or Applejack to go into the steam room. So they go back to explain the situation to Twilight, who has yet to actually finish the chore. And the reason for this is because Applejack has added so many things to the chore, rather than the simple act of the chore itself, that it just takes so long to get done. Though we do learn one good thing from this experience. Applejack has better dance moves than a certain hippogriff on the internet. <laughs> I'm so not sorry for this. Why do I have a sudden craving for potatoes? Spectacular cravings aside, they find that Applejack was just overcomplicating her chores. With the help of her friends, she's able to shorten her chores back to a reasonable time. Then it's off to the spa again so that they can relax for the rest of the day. Was this a bad episode? No, I actually enjoyed it. The pacing was a bit slow, but this was a slice of life episode. And while the message was a little bit repetitive, 
It still stuck to its direction, and it got its message across. Plus, it was kind of funny to watch Rainbow Dash freak out about the Hoof Cure comments again. Continuity is fun. This episode also calls into question some of Applejack's past behaviors. We've seen her stubborn while tired, overprotective about her family, and even having a problem stereotyping an entire race of bats. She's not perfect, but she's honest. And I think that straightforward level of thinking is not necessarily a bad thing, but it gives her tunnel vision. This combined with having a stubborn nature, well, tends to cause some problems. But that lends to the idea of Applejack's character being the everyday pony. Some people find her likable because she has a family life, and because she has a work life, and because she's, well, flawed. And it's when she overcomes these flaws that we see her shine. I think this episode has a lesson in humility, as well as learning to change one's own behaviors. Rarity herself even said it's best to accept outside perspective. Everyone is susceptible to having tunnel vision and making mistakes. And we might all do a little bit better to take some criticism and outside perspective from our friends. What do you guys think? Please let me know your opinions in the comments below. This said, I think we're at the end of our episode for today. So as always, thanks for staying a while to listen.